So this is my review on the Rusty's over the knuckle steering. I believe it's for the YJ and the XJ. Comes with inch and a half cold roll dome steel drag link tow bar. Uh, inch and a quarter or one inch track bar. Comes with the mount on body side and a weld on on the frame side. Comes with heim joints. I believe they have Teflon or Kevlar inserts in them. Um, I've been running this setup for two years now. Comes with the bolts for the knuckle that you have to drill out to. It tells you what size to drill it out to. You also have to drill out your pitman arm. Um, I believe it came with this mount for the sway bar. Did not come, I mean, no, it's for the sway bar. It came for the steering stabilizer. It came with this mount. The steering stabilizer I bought off Rusty's. It didn't come with that. What I did is I tried to tuck it up as much as possible. So I drilled a hole here. If I could do it again, I'd probably move it over just like a quarter of an inch right there. Because it touches slightly. Um been running this setup for two years now flawless absolutely flawless we've broken all kinds of stuff and this thing stayed strong um, I did have to replace the track bar bushings here and here they were easily available probably 20 bucks the whole kit was about $500 I believe shipped came with uh, sway bar relocation brackets so the bracket itself is this part and then it travels down to there. It's only this big, an inch or so, and it bent right away. Um, they're worthless, they really are. So I added a 3 16 plate steel, welded it all the way around. Made my own template for them. It's two pieces. Put in JKS six and a half inch adjustable sway bar links. Great, no problems there. It did not come with the drop pitman arm. That was with the Jeep originally. It measures five inches from here to here. And uh, that seems to be the perfect amount of drop for this track bar down up here. It's been pretty much dead even. I have no bump steer at all. Um, I guess it doesn't matter if these are dead even per se, just as long as they're parallel to each other like this, so you can't even really see it. Um, both brackets for track bar, weld on and bolt on are solid. Uh, I believe they're quarter inch steel. No issues there. Two years, beating the heck out of it, and it's still good. You have to trim the bottom of your coil spring perch here and there. You also have to trim off your old sway bar uh, bracket mounts on the axle. Uh, no matter how much you trim, they still touch. As you can see, this has been flipped over last time I was working on it. Great, great, great setup. Um, I'm running this with 7.5 inch Rubicon Express. Uh, three quarter inch isolators up top Seems to work perfect rusties. I mean a uh, rough country control arms long arm upgrade um, Did a couple things 316's baby truss as you would call it I guess <laughs> nothing really um, Other than that it works really good. I also bought their Brake lines uh, this is the second set. They're great. First set was my fault. I broke them. Um, they're really good. Mounts, just bulletproof. It really is. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Really good setup. Oh yeah, these tires are amazing.
absolutely flawless. There you go. Rusty's over knuckle steering upgrade. 92 Jeep Cherokee.